What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Spring break for the kids up here where we're at. Starting this next week, so everybody had the kids around the house for a, a week. Got off work a little bit early today and uh, stopped by Muddy Creek in Rowlett, Texas and thought I'd throw a curly tail on a jig and see if I couldn't find some more of them sandies. And Well, I found plenty. Stayed there about an hour and a half and I think I ended up with 15 keepers and met up with a couple of subscribers. So I want to say hi to Daniel and David and Timmy. What's up, guys? Uh-oh, better put my seatbelt on, huh? And uh, just want to say, guys, all the fish I caught today were males, predominantly, and uh, that's a good sign. Uh, if that's not females in there, then we still got quite a ways to go with the run. So any of you guys hadn't gotten to get out, do a little bit of white bass fishing here in North Texas, you still got plenty of time. Looks like they're going to be in there for a while, at least the rest of the, uh, March, maybe even to the into, into the 1st of April a little bit. So get out there, take your kids while they're on spring break, hit you a creek near you and find them. So today, just give you a little more quick information. Today I had to find them, uh, surprisingly enough, even after rain and warm weather, I'm still finding them on bottom. And there, there's some roamers, but we're finding them in the bends of the creek, like it where it bends. And uh, we're bouncing the jigs off bottom. If you try to run, you know, like a rattle trap or something through there, you're gonna skim over the top of them. So you know, use your jigs, you know, bounce a rooster tail, you know, like let it hit bottom and reel slow so that it, it glides just over the bottom. And uh, you should do pretty good. Hope you guys have a good weekend and a good spring break week and catch a bunch of fish. All right, guys, thank you for watching my channel. And y'all enjoy this video, and I'm going to keep it short and sweet, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright guys, got me a super muddy bank spot right next to an old road. It's got a lot of traffic on it, but we'll see how it goes. Not sure if I'm getting hit or if I am. What's going on? Hitting bottom or what? Get over here and fish by this bridge. Yep, got one. I threw it right in the right spot, guys. Right there by that bridge column. Gonna be fish number one for today, fellas. Fish number one, and she's a nice one. Awesome. She is a nice one. Get her off without sticking myself. Got a fish. Yep, a little slower helped. Picked him up off bottom. Ooh, he's mad, mad, mad. Angry white bass. That's a humongous one. That's why he's angry. Because he's a big mama. Golly, that sucker's huge. That is a big one, guys. There goes some kind of cop. Making all kind of noise. Yeah, that's a big one, girl. Guys, right there, that's a big one. Ah, look at that. Whew. That's a big old fat girl. You on YouTube? I am. I saw your logo way ahead. Yeah. Bless you meeting you. You I'm too. Subscriber to your channel. That's good to know. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. And it's David. Nice Hi, David. You. you just getting here? Yeah, just getting here. Yeah, they're in here, so slow on bottom. Thanks for those videos. Oh, I you're really welcome. Love. I really enjoy them. Do my best, man. I do my best. Thanks for watching. You're more welcome to get anywhere in here. All right, guys. So 
I got off of that rooster tail. It was too small. It was an eighth ounce. I couldn't get any distance out of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull an eighth ounce chartreuse head with a two inch curly tail grub. That's old faithful right there. That's everybody's old faithful. If you don't use that bait right there, you shouldn't be fishing for white bass. I'm gonna move down the bank a little bit here. Getting some good cast distance. I'm gonna retrieve back pretty quick, keep it off bottom. Pretty quick, keep it off bottom. Oh, is that a fish? It is a fish. What? That fish hit so hard I thought I was hung. Huh. It's because he's a nice big old female. Big old female. Good job. Look at that one. Woohoo. No complaints from me on that. No complaints from me on that. Got her perfect in the corner of the mouth. Drop her in the bucket. Oh, got a fish. He hit it. He hit it slow. It's a nice little curve to that rod right there, I can tell you. Nice little curve to that rod. Got no problems with that. Get out of this mud. Stop moving around. There we go. Got one. Ooh, finally. Right there in the middle. Nice fish. Let's see if I can get him out. Let's see if I can get him out. Oh, he gobbled it, man. He gobbled it up. Gobble, gobble. Gobbled it up. Man, gum, he jumped out my hand. i we'll have to keep track of the numbers here in a little bit. Oh, got him. He did. Of course he did. Because that's what they do. They like to eat everything they see. They like to eat everything they see. Like to eat it all. Maybe some more moving in now, finally. Cause that was a couple bites in a row. Got him. Yes, sir. I think I found the hole, guys. I think I found the hole. Took me a minute. That's three casts, a bite, and two fish. Three casts, a bite, and two fish. little fighter too. I like it when they fight. I like it when they fight hard. Only takes a few seconds. And boom. You get one. This one's damaged. This one got bit or hit or chomped or something. Let's go see. Let's see what he's got going on. He got damaged somehow. Hey man, you need to stop casting at me. You cross my line, I'm gonna cut it. Freaking idiots come down here, man. Tons of idiots. The later it gets, the more people come down here. Oh, got one.
Got one, got one. Takes a minute, but. Takes a minute, takes a minute. Every couple minutes. Every couple minutes. that little end. That's my first little end of the day, guys. We got 10 on the stringer and uh, been here about an hour. I let a couple little ends go. So let's, I moved down the creek about 200 yards. We'll just get in here and see what we can find. Oh, got him. He's little. I think, maybe not. He thought he was little for a second. Oh no, he's not little at all. Nice, nice, nice. Golly, at first he felt small, and then he turned it on, and it was like, booyah! I'm not little, I'm a big man. I'm a big fish. I'm not sure what we got here. Pretty nice little bend, and Cove, and we'll just kind of get it out there and let it settle out. Got one. Fish on. First cast. First cast into that tree right there. What is it? A sandy. Perfect. That's what we want. We want sandies. We want sandies. Oh, here we go. There we go. Him. I knew I'd get that little bitty dude. He's been chasing it for a while. Oh, it's a yellow bass. There's a little yellow bass. Look how pretty that fish is, guys. He's little, but that's what they call a yellow bass if you've never seen one. I've showed them in my other video here. Well, not here, but when I was fishing Rowlett Creek anyway. And they're beautiful. There's no size limit, but I mean, I have no use for a little bitty yellow bass like that. Oh, so he's good. We finally caught the little pesky guy who's been chasing my bait up to the surface every time. That's what it was. I could see him right here at my feet, swim up and try to hit it, but he never got a hold of it. Got him. You know what? We're gonna see what that is. Oh, there's a crappie. How's it going? There's some crappie right there. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Win? Hey. Yeah, dude, there's some crappie right in front of you. Yeah. They're hard to catch, though. I've got 15 in a bucket. Yeah. About an hour. Are you guys keeping them? You want these? No, they're sandy. I always give them away anyway. I got too many at home. If you don't want them, you don't have to take them. One of those guys down there will probably take them. Alright. You can have the stringer. Oh, shoot. Nice. Try to clean them off. 